Hello, and welcome to our Let's Look At slash Let's Play of Distant Worlds 2. And now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our playthrough. Uh, well, no, actually, yeah, no, I've decided to theoretically make this a full playthrough of Distant Worlds 2. I was just letting time tick there. Um, I know I've been saying we're probably not going to finish the game. We are doing far better than I usually do, even while cheating. Keep in mind, we have been cheating. Far better than I usually do. So this is the victory threshold. Keeping that in mind, I am extending the playthrough another 10 episodes or so. So we'll come close to like 32-ish episodes for a total of a 32 hour playthrough and then i'm ending it um but we are currently researching super armor because it is better than anything we could research in the armor line except maybe superior hearted armor i'm just 180 14 3 320 oh wow this is even better than this yeah, so we're going to jump ahead to super armor. Uh, 1.2 billion to crash. So we're waiting to at least the 50% mark before we, you know, take a look at pricing again. Um, we're going to... We're, we're trying to make our way to carriers and capital ships. Uh, we have managed to snag... Not commerce and recreate, there we go. research. Oh, that's interesting. Days, day, yeah, this is all days. Um, again, these every empire can get. Right, the specializations. The mega labs is limited to one per galaxy, and we snagged them all, so no one else can get them. I think. And again, no yellow arrow means I have to go in and manual replace. Yellow arrow means free upgrade. So research output 25 versus 25 versus 20. It's 5. But this also just jumps us up to 30 in a galactic science center. All research plus for 20,000 maintenance a year. But we can't afford it. Um, I think if this is only going to take a couple of years, right? After capital ships, look, 25K. I am going to go ahead and queue up advanced research. And then we're going to backtrack. Things we need. Well, we are sadly lacking in transport systems. Uh, scanner jamming. Monitoring stations. Oh, we're out of room to queue up. Never mind. And we're just we're just gonna go ahead and backtrack. I don't think we can build these. I did turn off sharing of tech. Interesting. Oof. And efficient engines. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot we kind of need to backtrack on first. So let's go ahead and speed up. We're making almost half a billion. Well, never mind. We are making half a billion a year. So we're good there. Has invaded and taken over far too. Oh. They took over a colony. We've got a new spy. Nope, we're gonna decline. Oh, well, hold on. Silicus Guild. If we go into here, speak with them, negotiate a deal. No, we already have galaxy map sharing. So I don't know why we're offering that. So we're good. What we were focusing on, again, 
There's a random Hakonish colony. Again, kind of outside our range. I wish that wouldn't turn off. Turn on at all. Um, it's kind of in this area. And this and this. So let me go to colonies real quick. Yep, that's building. That's building. Those are building. That's fine. That. Oh, oh, right. So we're going to need this and this. Aha, he says. And we need to build this, this, and this. And one, two, three, four. One. And a spaceport. And a defense base. And a resort base. So we need to build all that there. I think it already has a defense base. Um, as far as people go... Alright, so we, we haven't set who can live here and who can't. So we need to do that. So, Aktarians out, mole people out, insects, spiders... One ants, froggies, humans, monkeys, dogs, rain people, lizards. Apparently the dinosaurs can stay. Frog people out. Green Orion space babes out. Other lizard people out. Other ant people out. Chinchillas out. Mole people can live. Octopi out. And... We're cat people. Yeah, we're playing as the Xenox, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that six minutes ago. So, Xenox in. We should all be okay on this. So, we're going to leave this as is. Um, call it a day. I do need to make sure... Thank you. That on any colony, I, I, and I didn't have time to go through. Right, that's the other thing we're doing, is we're going back through. Yep, assign that. But on anything we've colonized. Thank you. Whatever resources are on the planet, nothing else are set to 100%. And this is the Akdarans. Oz. Two, three, four. They need five. Right, they're missing resources. As we stole the Akdarian homeworld. <laughs> Which is hilarious to me. I, I need to slow this down then. Um, wait a minute. Nope, just the Mortalans on here. So, game editor. Enter. I think we've already done felt here. No, we have not. Alright, well. No, you can't do 200. 100% is the cap. Alright, I think we did them. Romulus might be. Yeah need a pass as well. And done. Canarth. I don't think Canarth had any. And Canarth didn't have any resources. Authoria does have resources. These are our original Akdarans. Tar Merton. We did. I think everyone else we've done. Yes. 
I know for a fact anything above, I can't pronounce that, has been done. So we're good there. Uh, the other thing... Okay, so we need some more... Exploration ships. I'll go ahead and purchase two of those. We have 20 construction ships. If I need to, I'll build more. Are our fleets topped off? Let's see. No. Mayor Block is missing a destroyer. They're good. They're good. They're good. Gaming brain is good. Alright, I did get a new follower, so shout out to PS Pan. Welcome to the herd. I hope you're doing well. So they will get this seventh defense food so let's go ahead and rename this to es hand there you go you are now a defense fleet time is ticking i will go ahead and speed things up now i think we're done again i haven't gone through and been like all right guys your thing is in my territory it is mine now do we have any colony ships no. Were we looking at any? No, no, no. Huh. Although, we could snag these guys. That's a maybe. And I think that's it. Alright, so if we go to independent factions. We already have our free trade agreement. With both of these colonies. Humans, I believe. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Limited trade. I've got the money. I'm just going to get a free trade with as many as I can. Even, even if we don't settle there. Just so we have the option. So we already have a free trade agreement with both of these guys. Ah, oh, we already given a gift to them. So potentially, they are at a hundred percent success, and that does build a safer path, essentially. From our east side to our north side. So that might be worth it. Uh, who gets bonuses? No one really gets bonuses there. Okay. So... Hmm. Where is this? Hold on. There. No. I think from here then. Uh, also build and... Nope, not that. This. Let's build a medium... Well, no. We'll do small... If I'm if I'm building if I'm colonizing an untouched planet, medium or bigger, but a planet that already has an independent colony, small is fine. And we'll let that tick. Oh, also, at 50%, how much is it? 
I will pay that cost. Oh no, we're down to half a billion. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Uh, and I will put it on manual. And we're good. Um, I have been trying to... Th this is the frustration with the game. Is the extremes in Galaxy Generation get frustrating. So I'm trying to play a game on the largest galaxy size. I have restarted it six times. Because there's not enough information on the settings screen to tell you. Is it when you set... I'm just going to say yes. When you decide... Oh, also. Alright, they just need a destroyer. When you decide for independent colonies, do you want a normal amount, an abundant amount, or, or you know, that sort of thing? It doesn't tell you, oh no, you know... You'll, you're guaranteed to have between this many and this many colonies. And you, and a, well, what does that mean? An abundant... What does that mean? So, of the... And I may restart again, just because. Of the six games I tried, because of the way this generates galaxies, the first three, to give you an idea, right? This is our home planet. Either other empires were starting on, like, these stars, so we couldn't expand. Or, it was, like... Empire here, Empire here, which is reasonable, and then on abundant 30 to 40 independent colonies in between. And I'm like, that is way too much. So then I sent it back down to normal. And what ended up happening was call empires were spaced out, but the first two times I did it, the independent colonies, it was either this empire gets them all, and no one else gets any, so they can't expand. Really. Sort of thing. Or, it was, no one got any within range of expand. Or, it was, I didn't get any within range. I couldn't expand. But every other empire got, like, three or four independent colonies. So I had to resort to, hey, boop! Go ahead, and um, yeah, spawn in independent colonies, which is frustrating. The extremes this game has when generating galaxies get frustrating. Um, so like I said, it's a good game. I can see it becoming an amazing game. <laughs> Excuse me. But it still feels like, still feels like it needs some shining and some polishing. Alright. Almost done. Yep, 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 yep. All the colonies are happy. Built actually fuel tankers. That's the other thing. I have one, two, three, four, five idle fuel tankers. Why is it telling me to build another fuel tank? Unless every fuel tanker I have is being used, there is no reason to tell me to build another fuel tank. I'm going to wait till I get the super armor, because once we get the super armor, we're going to go through and do a pass on everything. Okay. Build research station. Done. You're not going to offer me anything I want. You're not going to offer me anything I want. Another large mining station. Hello. Oh, thank you for the raid, Lady Muck. Always a pleasure to have you. Speaking of which, you're being assigned to check something out. Speaking of which... 
we have now have super armor. So we're just gonna do a pass on everything. Yep, stellar armor and shield. 48. Oh, I know why. The shield. So even though Talos shield... Talos shield was the last thing we researched. Oh, wow. Not even an option. But because it is the last... Even though... Our, our Megatron shields are better. Or on par. Two, three, four. It switched to the Tallow shields. As far as weapons go, that's a bit different. We've got two point defense, three star beams. A single ion cannon and two lightning missiles, which we did get to version two on. So I think we're gonna keep that. Engines. I think. Yeah, Acceleros is our best, so that's gonna have to stay. Reactors are fine. Uh, crew systems. Nope, we still need both crew systems. Even though we are up to version 3, med, rack, damage, control unit, energy collectors, a hyperdenai, just for fun, three large fuel cells, two quantum reactors. The campaign is going just fine. We pretty much got this in the back. We're basically at the point of mop-up. I don't think you were here when they showed up, but their version of the endgame crisis showed up. Which is the high. Which we might run into issues with, but this super armor is going to help. So we're going to save and exit. And 83 frigates. Oh boy. So again, yeah, it screwed over the shields. So it looks like we're going to have to go in. On all the shields and do this. Uh, everything else, I'll I'll keep the same. Frigate, heavy destroyer. Yep. Fix shields. We should be good. I don't think we can fit anything else in. So, actually, can we fit? No, that's too far. Alright, directional thruster it is. We'll replace one. That's fine. Everything else is good to go. It's missing a med center, but I don't think we can ditch... Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on here. On our destroyers. Can we ditch a reactor? For a med center? And a backup quantum reactor. Yes, we can. And we will. Nice. Uh, let's see. Any collection rate. Static image used. I might, yes, be able to trade out for a third large fuel cell as well. Mwah. Beautiful. We're good there. Save and exit. Uh, heavy escorts. We'll upgrade. We don't use them anymore. We're kind of beyond them. So it really doesn't matter. So see. Them. Escort large fuel barge. Oh yes, we use those. So again, this is war. Just to up... There we go. One of each. And upgrade the armor. I, I was just complaining. You missed it. About the galaxy generation in this game. I started playing and it does matter. Um, medium colony ship. Go ahead and upgrade this. Two modules. Beautiful. Third fuel cell. Two quant. Oh no, that's a fourth fuel cell. Yeah, fine, whatever. Four fuel cells. Engines. 
All right, you, you you need some other things. You do need actually, which is oh no, crystal sensors are better, and some countermeasures, and some point defense, and we'll double up on the armor. Just because... No, nah, we shouldn't. Ah, we're a little over. Fair enough. Can I get away? No, I need that second quantum react. Done. Alright, if I ditch... No, I need 193 crew. So I would have to ditch an engine. Ooh. Or two? Ooh, never mind. Um. Right. These are like two crew apiece. If we ditch a fuel cell. How much is the engine? Five crew. Oh, yeah, no. Alright, I guess we get rid of the weapons. And a shield? Really? Oh, wow. And a counter... Oh, the countermeasures? As five crew. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll do that then. Armor's ten. One. So let's load up on armor and call that a day. Uh, latest active build vehicle designs. Thank you. Medium constructor ship. This is just a straight up upgrade. Yep, that's fine. Even exit. Medium explorer. Uh, not quite a straight up upgrade. We're gonna replace the Talos with the Megatron. Otherwise, everything else is good. Alright, yes. Two armor, two shields, everything else. Med center, rec center. Three large fuel cells. Damage, yeah. Everything else is good. Uh, small colony ship. A single colonization module is fine. Uh, everything else, sure, we're good there. Um, I got sidetracked again, didn't I? Yeah, it was. I started a large, a uh, uh, max size playthrough. So, maximum size for galaxy, maximum size for quadrants, maximum size for stars for fun. And the galaxy generation, because the only option is random. And the information isn't enough to go, all right, well, if I sent the independent colonies to normal on a large, is that more or less than a normal? You know what I mean? Like, if I sent the galaxy to small and independent colonies to normal generation, is it percentage-based? So as I increase the size of the galaxy, it automatically increases the amount of colony uh, independent colonies because it's set to normal? Or is it a flat amount? doesn't tell you so i started six games the first three games i had it on abundant and the generation was such ass that i was just like no because either i would have ai empires spawning next to my empire so i couldn't expand or so many independent colonies it was just like does anyone else have independent colonies to expand to or none and the same thing when I set it to normal. It was just none. There were hard... So I, I can't... Started spawning in normal col uh, independent colonies. And that is frustrating. I said, good game. Lots of potential. But feels like it needs to simmer. So we're done there. State bases. Upgrade the defense base. And we're leaving it as is. Star beams, lightning missiles. Fuck. Uh, damn, that is... Yeah, 
Yeah, it can all fit. No, this game is not early access. This game is fully released, which is why I'm being so hard on it, to be fair. If it was early access, I'd be like, listen, hopefully they'll improve things. But this is a fully released game. This is not early access. Um, and again, if you are a hardcore strategy player, even with all the downsides, there's enough here to get plenty of enjoyment out of it. But if you're not a hardcore strategy player, especially with all the automation that goes on, Stellaris gets you more. So, alright, so, yeah, that's fine. Easy mix. What else would you throw in here? Command and crew. Oh, you know what? A couple of marines. Oh, we can't fit the marines. Fascinating. What would I trade? I will drop a shield. Or... Okay, we're a little heavy on the armor. For a couple of Star Marine Barracks. Just to help with, you know, not being boarded. Save and exit. Uh, oh, we do have medium spaceports. Good to know. Upgrade again. Let's take a look at defenses. Uh, weapons I'm okay with. Two, four, four. All right, we're kind of tight on defenses. Let's drop a medium starfire bay, which frees up 50 space for a couple of star marine barracks, just so it's harder to take over our spaceports. And are our weapons full? Hold on. They just per category. No. What are we looking at? We've got lightning missiles, multi-beam defense, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We're missing a lightning missile? Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. Can we fit in another... Medium lightning missile? Ooh, I don't think we can. X-1803. You know what, though? I will drop... Ooh, hold on. Two large cargo bays. Alright, I will drop a crew system. To grab... Uh, a little more damage output. And we'll go ahead and save exit there. Research stations, they do their thing. Yeah, you're good. Armor, yep, you're good. Small starfighter bay. Uh, we do have two small spaceports. This is a bit wonky. One, two, three, four. What I will do, just to give us a little more space to play with, I go to defenses. I will go ahead and we'll do we'll replace two of these. There we go. That's that's better. Not gonna have as much oomph. And we could probably get rid of some crew systems. Like if I get rid of a crew system, I can fit at least one balance. And that's about all I can really get rid of. Everything else is kind of needed. We need the fuel cells. I would actually say even. No, we can't. All right. That's good. So save and exit. So those are good. Civilian ships. We're just going to go straight down. Oh, nice. Look at this. So for the longest time, because this is a small galaxy, and again, it does matter. If I go to this and say, show me all freighters, 
This is this is a large cargo transport. Can you? All right, game's kind of chunking. But remember, for a large cargo transport, let me slow things down. That might help. The yellow dash is the maximum size of jump range with the fuel it has. Okay. So that's large. The largest size galaxy, you need this. Small size, not so much. Let me find a medium. Large, medium. So even medium would cover pretty much the whole galaxy. But on the largest size, you know, with only two fuel cells, that's like half the galaxy at best. So again, you need it. So, size of galaxy does matter. And then the smalls. Let's see if I can find a small. That's a large. Oh, this might be a small. I wish there was an easier. I wish you could set these, not by name, by size. There we go. There's a small. So look. This has one fuel cell. Any more? And it would be able to travel so far it almost makes, almost makes the mediums pointless. But on the larger size galaxy, you could get away with like two, three, and four. Because if you did it, you know, colonies could be potentially so spread apart that you, you need them. So it's size matters um high energy capacitors is a free upgrade oh yeah 200k i'll crash that not a problem oh oh oh, oh i apologize we're still going through upgrade yep there's the stellar armor um Honestly, defenses. There we go. Save and exit. Large mining vessel. Uh, I guess this is better? Huh, that's actually a good question. Save and exit. We're, we're going through an armor upgrade here. Large Traveler. So these are our passenger ships. There we go. One of each. Otherwise you're good. Save and exit. Medium cargo. Yeah. Two fuel cells. Any more and it makes the large ones obsolete. Uh, and again. Again, this feels better? Question mark? Save and exit. Medium travel. Interesting. Replace. Replace. We're good. Save and exit. I'm not going to fiddle with those. Uh. Refresh the game itself is a bit laggy because of, of what I selected. So feel free to refresh if you need to. Um a single fuel cell? Yep, you're good. Lots of cargo, you're fine. Uh I guess the Megatron shields, because this will get free upgrades, so we're good there. Uh save and exit. Oh wait. Civilian bases. Large mining station. Upgrade. Uh, uh, one of these. One of these. Good. Small mining station. We're not using any, but just in case. Wow, we don't need a quantum reactor. Too large. Can we? Well, so here's the thing. 
if I put a large mining engine in here, it will use this over the large mining cells. So, we're going to leave this as is. Sure. Go to defenses. One there. There, you're good. Save and exit. I don't think it'll build any. I don't know if there are medium and large resort bases, but we're okay with this. A large star beam. Sure. And we will trade out this. This. Otherwise, you're good. Uh, we could trade out a quantum reactor for another... basic passenger car. And we're good there. Done. Alright, and we're good. There we go. There we go. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. That's the other thing. Things scroll by so fast at four times speed. You might miss things. We just lost. Someone took over one of our explorers. Pause. Show me. Research base. There's a defense base under construction. I will go ahead. I can afford it. Sure, we'll build another one. Uh, we need to build another explorer. Because we had one just get taken over by something. And it scrolled by so fast, I couldn't see what it had taken over. Speaking of which... Oh, okay, hold on. Ooh, frigate, frigate. Uh, we'll actually wait, I think, to do another pass. Um... Because in my end, it is fine. Twitch says no lag, OBS says no lag, that sort of thing. So if you need to refresh, refresh. I completely understand. Okay. Uh, exit research. So I'm going to slow down to times two, because it could also be the speed I'm running at. Right, the other thing we're doing is colony ships. Oh, this is a swamp. Why did I think... Hold on. Oh, whatever then. I'll just ship them off. That was my bad. For some reason, I thought this was a continental planet. We'll load these colonists. We'll try to grab one of the humans. Show me. Oh, uh, he'll be fine. This is this is a pirate. We're good. Oh. Pause. Yeah, sure. Build that. I'm gonna sneeze. What?
I did. I didn't realize I muted. Sorry. Oh, yes, I did, because I sneezed. All right, sorry about that. There is a lot I forgot to... I'm just saying, it's it's, it's this thing of you get so far down the tech tree, you then got to go back and grab many things. Where is... Ah, here it is. Uh, where is... I am looking for... Defenses. Defense units. Battlefield sabotage. Not real guns. I think it's in fighter? Here it is. Orbital escape launchers. Yeah, free fighters. I think we want these on every planet. So I'm going to queue these up as well. Again, we'll blow through it in literally days. Look, six days. 31 days. But I, I want to get to these dedicated carriers and capital ships. Um, um, and we probably do need better fighters to get to the advanced star fighters. Um, to help on defense. Which leads to assault bombers and advanced superiority fighters. No. So, yeah, there is still a lot to research. So, we are going to... Yep. This is a free upgrade. Okay. Years. Days. Right, but we don't care about this or this because it's a dead end. And this replaces both of these. So the question becomes... 768. 648. 7 recharge shields. 5. So this... 1080, 1200. Alright, so this is always slightly better recharging. That's its pro. The con is, is it doesn't have quite as much hit points as regular shield, which is why I like to use both. Um, but I, I want to rush to this. Because once you get to zero point energy, or, or, or once you install this, it's just a matter of grabbing these for free upgrades for a while. Wow, this is just days. Days and days. We're gonna jump ahead on energy. And call that good. I don't think we can research anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, colony ships. Yeah, that's fine. We were looking at... Uh, can we? Alright, these guys are still up for grabs. We are going to try to grab them. Um, and set, you know what? Since we're just going to... There we go. Small column ships. All we're doing is throwing them on and then taking them off again. I don't mind. Just, I don't care who gets there. Just a matter of getting them there. And then transferring off. So th this will give us, a, I think, better routes through to our northern hemisphere, I guess is the way to say it. Um, other than that, I think that's all we're doing is focusing on the colonies. Now, we can set up some new colonies. So they should, yep, they have no m mission. But we have 100%... Here. Go ahead. How much to... I'm making a billion a year. Yeah, I can afford to crash that. Uh, 
no. Uh, wow, we actually have a really good reputation. Not quite done. Seven. Go. Load these colonists. And they'll go to this one. So that, that'll build us a path. Not here, but from here to here to here to here. I think. Pause. Nice. So now we can do large construction ships. So that's state ship. I don't think it pops up automatically. Small, medium, no. So we're going to have to add it. Hey, the gaming brain. Hope you're doing well. So we're looking for a large construction ship. Auto generate. Version 2. Now we pay for it, so. Two large fuel cells, two large cargo bays. A reactor. I don't care about turn rate. Alright, four engines. Ditch the lightning missiles. Oh no, that's a good question. 648. 336. Except we just... Oh no, we haven't researched it. Alright, so we'll do this for now. Stellar armor, construction yard. Latest per category. Weapons. Beam defense, at least. And then here. So what do we want? We've got damage control, two large cargo bays, two large fuel centers. Which is fine. Uh, a rec center. A... Does have a damage control unit. So it needs a med center. And then after that, I mean, nothing really. Does it need the mine? It's got more than enough cargo space to grab it. I mean, a couple of extra fuel cells wouldn't hurt. Don't care about commerce. Again, we can, we can stack damage control units. But all it does is re increase repair rate. It doesn't stack the damage reduction. So... One, two... Ah, we're over. Alright, so we'll only add one. Uh, how many crew? Crew... Oh, only one crew? Uh, we'll, we'll double up on crew. Done. Oh, wow! But then it needs a third, uh, another quantum reactor. Alright. I guess right there, then. Energy 75, static energy used, uh, extra energy collector. For now. Uh, and we'll come take a look at these at a later date. And now, state bases, medium base, add new, because always buy whole sides. You, where are you? Here we go. We're well, now we're up to 2250. So this is medium spaceport. Version 9, I believe I said. Uh, we'll let things sit as now. Whatever's in there is in there. We will dictate the weapons. So many weapons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is fine. Okay, that's, that's, that's a little much on the defenses, too. 
What do we got? Long range counter. Yep, that's fine. A construction yard. Two construction yards. All right, it's missing a cargo bay. Done. Now it needs defenses. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know why Stellar Armor isn't technically the highest text level. Whatever. Oh, I do. Okay, so version 10. No, I don't. Hold on. No, I don't. Version 9. Mm, so we're, we're doing version 10. Because this is only, this is only like a size, actually, hold on. Yeah, this is only a size 1800. We're doing 2250, baby. Version 10. Alright, let's do this again. Um, actually, and before I forget, because it will forget... Let's add a couple of marine barracks. One, two. Yeah, I know. I'm over. We're going to fix that. Dump a... Uh, yeah. Dump a starfighter bay. Or a docking bay. That technically puts us over, but... God, they went hard on the defenses. And you know they went hard on the offense. All right. So defenses first. And we'll aim for four, five, six. That's one, two, three. One, two, three. And call that good. Now... Weapons. Not by category. Oh, do we throw in? I'm not gonna throw in a hyper dinner. Be amusing, but I don't know. Again, not quite sure how it works. <sighs> right now, let's take a look at weapons array. So, first thing is first. One, two, three, four. All right, still good. Medium star beams. One, two, three, four. Still good. Can we do, we can do medium lightning missiles. One, two, three, four. Now. We could try to cram in more star beams. Hmm. I need 120. I don't have enough. Unless we make them smalls. I think we leave that as is then. You know what? If we've got the space, let's throw in a hyper deny. And we'll take a look at defenses. I don't know, six sounds like plenty. Because that's the thing. If we take a look at defenses. One. Two. And a stellar armor. I think is all we can fit. So that's... Wow. Hold on. Two, three, four. Space. One, two, three, four. Five. Alright, this this is as far as we can go. Because 2250, 2250 is our well, actually. Yeah, no. 2250 is our cap, and we're there. Yes. I believe that's how it works, but I think what it does is it just causes it to use more energy to charge up. I'm not sure. Like, it doesn't doesn't explain... Actually, I guess... Save and exit. We're good there. 
Oh, actually, chip designs, we make that one obsolete. The Lactopedia. Uh, game concepts. Components. EFG. Hyper Deny. Right, enemy ship with a remote from initiating a hyper jump. Skipping battle. We deleted. A, if a hyperdrive has a higher blocking insulation level than the hyper deny strength. Okay. So that's interesting. Like, I, I knew how it. Like, I knew what it did. Just wasn't quite sure how it worked. Okay. Useful. Gonna have to start using those on cruisers at least, and defense stations, and a cost. Maybe not on battleships or carriers, but definitely cruisers. Oh, another new independent colony of humans. Yeah, working on it. Pause. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or, even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.